All right, so the main project for this chapter is going to be a snake game, uh, very similar to the one that was available on uh, most cell phones maybe 10, 15 years ago. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to introduce you to the Canvas element. Uh, hopefully, maybe you have some experience using Canvas. Basically, it's used to draw shapes, to uh, animate, to animate images. Um, you can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, but in this particular video, I just want to kind of introduce uh, the absolute basics uh, of the Canvas element. All right, now Canvas is an HTML5 element, but uh, you need to write scripts in order to make it do anything. All right, HTML5 takes care of the element itself, uh, exactly that, a Canvas, and we'll use JavaScript to do whatever we want to do. In this video, we'll just, uh, what we're going to do is create a logo, and I'll just open that up and show you. All right, so very simple logo. Uh, this is not an image. None of this is an image. It's all done with Canvas and JavaScript. All right, so basically we have two shapes. Uh, one shape has a stroke or a border. And then we can also create text with the Canvas element. And you can see that the text actually is gradient, has a gradient coloring. And then we have a line, which we can do in Canvas as well. We can uh, draw and connect lines to make different kinds of shapes and images. All right, so we'll do that. And then I want to give you a very basic introduction to animation. All right, so we're going to create this, which is just a, a black canvas. And we created some circles, and we're just going to animate them across and down the canvas. All right, so very simple. So let's get started on the logo first. All right, so we have our finished product here. I'm just going to create, actually, I'm going to rename, rename this here. OK, so that's our finished one. So let's create a new folder called Canvas. And then in there, we'll create a new document, canvas.html. I'm not going to use any external JavaScript, JavaScript files. I'm just going to do it all in one file. It's not that much code. so. All right, so here's our HTML file. Whoop, I just want to paste in just a basic uh, structure. All right, so we have our head and body tags. And what I want to do first is create the actual canvas. All right, so in the body is where we're going to create it. And we just want to say canvas, <coughs> excuse me. And we're going to give this an ID. And we'll call it my canvas, all right? Because we're going to use JavaScript. And in order to grab this element, we're going to use the um, get element by ID method. OK, so an ID. We also want to define a width. Um, we're going to say 400 and also a height. And height will be 150. Whoop. And that's it. We want to close this. All right. Now, if if your user is using a browser that that doesn't support Canvas, you can actually um, do whatever you want to happen when they visit this, the page, right in here, right in between the Canvas tags. So we'll just say, sorry. Your browser doesn't use the canvas feature. All right, so they'll just see that message if, if they, their browser doesn't support it. All the latest versions of all the modern browsers do support canvas, but um, you never know. Some people uh, don't update their browser as often as they should. All right, so that is actually it for our HTML. <laughs> all right, so uh, very simple. All the all the work, um, all the power comes from your JavaScript. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, actually, if we save this and take a look, we don't see anything. And the reason for that is, by default, the canvas is going to be just white and there's no border. 
So what we want to do is just add a little bit of CSS to give it a border so that we can actually see uh, where it starts and where it begins. All right, so up here, we'll just create some style tags. And we can actually just grab it with canvas. And we're going to give it a border. We'll give it a black border, one pixel solid. All right, so if we take a look at that. Now we can see our canvas, all right? Remember, this is what we're going to be doing. So we'll probably, we'll start with the squares and then move on to the text and then the line. All right, so let's open up some script tags for our JavaScript. So we're going to have two main functions here, okay? So the first one is going to be called init. Okay, this will initialize everything for us. This will initialize the canvas. All right, and then we want another function called draw. Okay, so this is the function we're going to use to draw the, the, the whole thing, the rectangles, the text, everything. All right, so at the top, before we call these functions, we need to set a few variables. All right, so the first one I'm going to call just C. And that's going to be that's going to equal the um, the canvas element itself. All right, so we can grab that with document dot get element by ID. All right, and the ID that we want is my canvas. All right, so that's just grabbing this element. Now we have to create a context variable. Actually, this isn't what I wanted to do. I want to I want to actually um, set this in the init function. I just want to initialize the variables up here. So I'm going to take this and cut this out. All right, and in the initializer, we're just going to say C equals the canvas. All right, and then up here we'll initialize another variable called CTX, and that's going to be the context. That's going to be the the object that we run all of our methods on. Um, so in here, we want to say CTX equals uh, C, which is our canvas element, dot get context. All right, and then in here, we need to pass in a parameter 2D, all right, because we're going to be working with 2D um, shapes and objects. All right, so that's the initializer, then the last thing we want to do is just call the draw method or function. All right, so it's just going to call this. So that's all we need for the initializer. All right, and then down here is where we can start to create shapes. All right, so we have our context, we can use that CTX variable. So the first thing we want to do is let's decide what color we want. We're going to draw a rectangle, or I'm sorry, a square. Um, and let's make it, we'll draw a red square. All right, so we want to say CTX dot fill style uh, is going to equal, and we can use colors here. We can use the word red. We can use hexadecimal. We can use RGB, RGBA, um, pretty much any kind of coloring system. I'm just going to use hexadecimal, and we're going to make this red. All right, so that alone won't do anything. In fact, if we save and reload, we don't see anything. All right, because we're just setting the color. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually draw the rectangle. All right, and I say rectangle uh, even though it's a square, but Canvas sees it as a rectangle. So I'm going to say CTX fill style. All right, so this basically is going to be the color that we want this shape to be, okay? Uh, and you can use words, you can use red, uh, you can use um, uh, R RGBA values, and you can use hexadecimal. All right, so I'm gonna put he the hexadecimal value for red, FF0000. All right, and that, that's not gonna do anything yet. It's gonna just set the color. In order to create the shape, we need to do CTX dot uh, fill rect. All right, so fill rectangle, and that's going to take four parameters. 
The first is going to be the position on the x-axis. All right, so if we look at our canvas, uh, the x-axis runs horizontally. So the amount of pixels from here is, is going to be this the first parameter. The second parameter is going to be the y-axis, so from the top down. All right, so let's go ahead and do, um, we'll say, 30 pixels from the left and then 30 pixels from the top. That's where we're going to place this shape. And then the next two parameters are actually going to be the size. All right, so we'll give it a width of 50 and a height of 50. All right. Now, if we save this and reload, we're not going to see anything because we haven't actually um, called the init function. So we need to do that. And you can do that a few different ways. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just add a, uh, a handler. Uh, we're going to say when the body on load, then we're going to call init. All right, so that means when this body tag loads, it's going to call this function here which is going to set our canvas objects or variables and then call the draw method. All right, so save that. And now we have a red square and you can see that it's 30 from the X and Y and it's 50 in height and width. All right, so that's pretty easy, very uh, minimal amount of code.